Hello, in this video I'm going to be talking about the fairly recent release of a film I dearly love, a film I first saw when I was a very young child um, in the 90s, a film that my dad um, loved growing up and, uh, and tried to kind of pass on to me, and I, I didn't see all of it when I was a kid, but it was actually on my 27th birthday, or the day before my 27th birthday, that I, I finally watched it all the way through and fell in love with it, and it is... The Warriors, and this is the, um, the the new release from Imprint over in Australia, and I'm hugely excited about this box set. So we're going to take a look at this thing. I'll show you the the contents and the things that it comes with, and why I think, um, for now, it's the definitive release of the film and the release of the film I've been really hoping for for a while now, and I wasn't sure if any company was going to step ahead and you know, do it and kind of deliver the goods, the goods that I wanted, but uh, we're going to get into it. So first and foremost, um, before I talk about why I think this set is so great, I just love the packaging. It's just fantastic. Like I love this out of box. It's kind of a hard case, um, kind of splits at the very top here, which is kind of how they've done their box sets for a while now. And you take the thing off the top and you get two cases on the inside. We have the theatrical cut and we have the director's cut. And this is where for me, I think the, um, the release really sings is the fact that we have the theatrical cut, the theatrical cut, I'll leave that in for free, the theatrical cut of this film on Blu-ray. Because what's been available really, I, I'm not sure the timeline of it because there is a German Blu-ray that has the theatrical version, but the widely available Blu-ray of the Warriors, which I, I had for a while and, and sold after the, this came out, um, has the director's cuts, and the director's cut is an interesting um, oddity, <laughs> I would call it. Uh, and I've talked about this before. I did a video conquering my collection about the Warriors. I reviewed the Blu-ray um, that I had before the kind of HMV retro style one, where it was I think it was a 2005 director's cut from the director Walter Hill, and it kind of you know. <sighs> It, it brings in these comic book style panels, which look very 2000s-y, you know, and, and very much like done in Photoshop and, and a few filters laid over. Like it doesn't even seem kind of hand drawn or anything. And, you know, Walter Hill always felt like this was a, a live action comic book and he wanted to um, visualize that in the movie. And so that there are in like scene wraparounds when we cut to different points of the story, we get this kind of, everything turns into a, a comic book page. And for me, it's just, it's kind of uh, garish and kind of takes me out of the gritty 1970s feel of this film. I and mean, when was it released? 1917? Yeah, 1979, you know, and suddenly we're seeing like 2000s level clean digital. Yeah, you know, if this was like a comic book that was drawn, you know, and it was like filmed on like 70s film stock and the, the page is flipped, it would, it, I would like it. But it, it's very digital and clean and clinical. It doesn't fit with the tone and the feel and the, the grittiness of the rest of the film. Even the final shot of the film where they're walking away on the beach, you know, it cuts to a comic book panel and, and we don't get to see the rest of the final shot of the film. It just, it ends on that. And I don't like that, you know, um, and, it, and, and it's not the version I saw the day before my 27th birthday. And I think I watched it on Netflix with, with my friend Dan, and, uh, and I just thought, wow, well, I'd seen a lot of it when I was a kid, but it was just, I loved it. I just love the, the feel of the film. Like it's, it's these gang. I mean, do I really need to review? I'm really talking about the Blu-ray more than the film itself, but in a nutshell, you know, it's a gang movie, New York city, you know, uh, one of the big leaders has been killed and, and kind of our heroes have been framed as the killers and they're on the run across New York city at night to get to Coney Island they're going on the subway, they get stopped by other gangs, and every gang is out to get them. It's just a, it's a constant thrill ride. It's fun, it's action-packed, it's got great characters. And it's, it's gritty and grimy and raw, and just, I, I love it, I absolutely love it. But the director's cut, eh, you know. And so I wanted the theatrical version, which wasn't available on the Blu-ray. So again, there's this German disc, um, and I suppose I could have imported that. But once I saw the imprint had announced this, I just thought, oh my God, finally. And you get both. So it's the best of both worlds, you know. So you get you get your choice if there's anyone out there who prefers the director's cut. Um, so extras-wise, I'm going to talk about the transfers um, in a little bit, but extras-wise. So on the disc of the theatrical cut, um, we have um, an audio commentary by film critic Walter Chaw. 
Um, the warriors from the cutting room floor deleted and extended scenes from the television version of the film, um, which were in very rough shape. Um, uh, it, it's good to have them, but it's you know be, be warned, um, they're in very ropey shape. I'm not even sure what the like, television version. It probably was sourced from a VC, uh, VHS recording of of the television broadcast. I'm assuming, um, and and this theatrical um, cut Blu-ray has the the lion's share of the the new extras. That have been brought over and produced, or well, not even brought over, because it's the archival stuff that's been brought over, and then there's been new stuff um, produced by Imprint uh, specifically for this release. We have Sound and Fury scoring the Warriors, an interview with the composer of the film Barry Devolzon, um, and then we have Last Train to Coney Island, an interview with David Patrick Kelly. We have uh, We Got the Streets, an interview with, the act with actor James Remar. Uh, Nowhere to Run, an interview with the actor Dorsey Wright. And these interviews, I, I absolutely loved. Like, it was just great to see them again. And it's something that a lot of boutique labels don't do as much. And it depends on the actor, I suppose, and, and their availability and their fee, I suppose. I don't know how it works exactly, but, you know, uh, I love the Eureka Massive Cinema Collection, but they very rarely will get an interview with someone who was in the film. You know, um, our video tend to do it, Criterion tend to do it, um, but like, I was really surprised that a label like Imprint um, was able to, to secure like three interviews with like, you know, s s some of the, the main characters of the movie and then also the composer. So you're getting a lot of, of really good um, you know, extras content produced specifically for this release in 2022. Um, then there is a feature called Literally Classic, The Ancient Greek Roots of the Warriors. Um, this was interesting. I didn't like it as much, you know, and, and for me, for me I, d I just love the Warriors as the Warriors, you know, for, for, for what it is. I don't tend to be like, oh, well, it's the comic book influences and the Greek you know, method, you know it, it's, it's, it's nice that it's there. I wouldn't say take it out, but it wasn't my favorite um, of the extras. Um, there's another video essay by Chris O'Neill, The Warriors Scrapbook, a photo gallery of um, kind of behind the scene shots and other things, which was really cool. I, I liked flicking through those. Now, <laughs> this is really interesting and I love this release. I think it's phenomenal. Um, <laughs> the end of this extras round on the theatrical cut Blu-ray, we have the theatrical trailer, which is nice to see. It's in, in standard def, from what I could tell. Then we have a TV spot. This TV spot is an abomination. I, I don't know who did this. I don't know who um, remastered this, whether it was imprint or it was given to them like this. I'd love to know the story. It's an abomination. Um, what's happened is, it's, it's basically what Peter Jackson did to the Beatles Get Back, which I loathe like the documentary was incredible editorially and then what's in it the visuals were, were awful it's this ai upscaling technology where a computer looks at an old piece of footage and kind of pieces together what it might have looked like <laughs> if it was higher quality and you really need a good source to begin with um and and that's what you know peter jackson had with the beatles documentary and so you know most people don't really notice the difference but when we really look at it their faces all waxy and it's, it's it's really distracting this tv spot um, I think I found it on YouTube and it looks a whole lot better than it does on the Blu-ray. Um, I mean, look at this. Look at look at his face. Like, that, <laughs> that is supposed to be a human face. And then the, the end of the TV spot, which is you know, the end of the, the theatrical trailer. So here's the shot from the theatrical trailer. Now compare that to the TV spot. <laughs> like, what is that? What? what? <laughs> I can't. I don't... <laughs> I would love to know who did this. And... Ask them, why did you do this? Like, who ran this through the AI upscaling program went, that's going on the Blu-ray. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's it's like DNR times like a thousand. Like, when people are complaining about Predator having the DNR slathered all over it and every character's face looked waxy and stuff, this is that times a thousand. Like, it just, I, I don't know. The, the good thing is it's just a, a short, like, I think it's like a 45-second TV spot, or maybe even less than that. But it was just like, why, why would you do that? You know, the theatrical trailer isn't in HD and it looks good and it's nice to have it, but the TV spot was just kind of like, what happened there? <laughs> you know? um, on the director's cut, we have um, brought over, I believe, all of the, um, yeah, it's, it's all, the, all the special features from the, the regular Blu-ray that's available around the world, I believe, in America and the UK. Introduction to the, the new version of the film by the director and co-writer Walter Hill. And then the four featurettes, 
uh, the beginning, Battleground, The Way Home, and The Phenomenon. These are really good featurettes, by the way. You get most of the main cast there interviewed, and it's um, it's just a really good look back on the film, um, if reframed in this kind of new, um, you know, comic book kind of version of the film. Which, to be fair, like, the comic book inserts, they are garish, they are kind of distracting to me, but they're not, they, they don't cover the whole film. Like, it's just, like certain scene transitions it probably amounts to about maybe a minute and a half of footage perhaps if if that um but i just like not having it there (laughs) it is why i was dying to get the theatrical cut on blu-ray in high definition and finally you have another audio commentary on the director's cut by author and historian um chris poggiali and former editor of fangoria and author michael gingold um if i pronounce those incorrectly i apologize so those are the two discs and versions of the film. Um, how do they look? Well, the director's cut obviously is going to be the same, you know, pretty much the same master we've seen on the previous Blu-ray, which is good. It looks good. But the theatrical cut, it looks better for me. Um, in terms of the, the grain or like the, the, the picture quality, there isn't really a huge uptick, if anything really, but the, um, the color grading is warmer to me, not as cold, feels more filmic. Uh, I'll show you some comparisons here on the screen. Um, and also, um, I think that you can see in certain shots that there's been some cropping on the director's cut. So the theatrical version, you actually see a little bit more of the frame. Now, from what I also understand, um, the German um, Blu-ray of the theatrical cut has um, slightly more, you know. So the the imprint version is, is cropped an infinitesimal amount. Um, but it's also not in every single shot. Like, I've gone through the film... Not shot by shot, but obviously I don't have the time to do that, but it, it seems to vary. But generally speaking, there's a little bit more of the frame visible in the theatrical cut disc. And also for me, it just looks better. Just the color grading of it just looks a little bit better. So happy days for me as a fan of this film. I loved revisiting this again. Seeing the theatrical cut was just a blast. I did not worry about the, <laughs> the comic book inserts. Because, um, yeah, you, you know, the running time for the director's cut is an hour and 34 the theatrical cut is an hour and 33. So, you know, it, it's about a minute extra of these these kind of, for me, needless. I mean, I, I'm all for the director. It's the director's movie. You know, it, that's what he wants to do. That's the, all the power to him. But I do think that you should offer the theatrical version as well because, you know, that's how it would have been seen. So are you getting a transfer here that, that blows you away? No, but it looks really good. And I think the theatrical cut looks better than the director's cut. You get all these extras, and I, I love the box. I mean, the outer box as well. You know, that front image there is... Just, I love that poster image, but just having it on the kind of... The, the black box, um, even the, the title on the spine, and just the red and black. I love red and black as a kind of color combination to begin with. Even just looking inside where it's all red. I love that. It's because it could have just been white on the inside. And it just, you know, when you put the, the cases back in... It just has a nicer look to it, and it's just it's a attention to detail I think that's lacking in 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 some boutique labels presentations of their packaging. A nice image on the back there, along with the the tagline um, between them and safety stand two tw- well not two twenty thousand cops and a hundred thousand sworn enemies. They got one way out, one chance, one night. So. Very dramatic, but you know, I just I, I love the look of this box, and then even down to the the presentation of the the single Amory cases. You know, this is honestly one of my favorite editions that I own now. It really, really is, and um, yeah, I just love the film. So, the Warriors from Imprint, fantastic release. Love the new extras; they're really, really fun. Um, and you know, I haven't listened to the commentaries yet. I, I will say, and that's something to delve into. At a later date, maybe rip them and listen to them as podcasts, as I tend to do. But yeah, absolutely phenomenal. It is pricey. That's definitely been a point of contention. Uh, there's no getting around that. It all depends on how much you love the film, I suppose. And if you're willing to cough up that much, I would love to get the imprint box set of um, collaborations. It's just it's way beyond my my kind of my budget. Yeah, I'd love to have it. I'm never going to be able to afford it. And that's an eight film box set you know, um, of films I haven't seen. So I can never justify... If there are eight films I loved, then I'd be all over it. But uh, I think it's eight. might be six. But regardless, you know, it's a multi-film box set. And there's only certain things I will, you know, kind of blind buy to that degree, especially now. I've kind of calmed down a bit on the extravagant blind buys. But, you know, with The Warriors, I think it is worth it if you're a big fan of the film. 
Um, if not, perhaps it is, especially with the importing from Australia, a little bit more of a, you know, is this, uh, your own discretion, I suppose, and how much. It's the same with the, Wick, the Wicker Man box set, which, you know, it, it's a pricey box set, but if you really love the film, and in this case with the Warriors, I think with the new extras and stuff, and presenting both cuts, they both look really good. The packaging is great. For me, it's... Um, it's a double thumbs up. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I want to do more videos like this if I can. I'm just kind of reviewing a Blu-ray kind of uh, briefly. and kind of just rattling through some of the extras and the packaging. Let me know if you like this new style of video or not. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.